to hear her laugh and see her smile. That's how she got her name. Since that sad affair, she's lost his mind, changed his style. Somehow, things are just not the same. Memories will fade. Pretty dreams will rise up. When her other dreams fell through. Hurry, new love, hurry, kiss. Wipe away that long, sweet tear. And hold her near when sunny gets blue. Ah, thank you. Thank you. And welcome to this wonderful festival we have this year. Little Latin tune for you. Don't take your love, girl, from the Canino de Maya. And when she passes, everyone who she passes goes on. When she smiles, like a song that swings so good, sways so gentle, that when she passes, everyone when she passes goes on. Oh, how I watch her so sadly. How can I tell her I love her? Yes, I would give my heart gladly, but each day she walks to the sea, she looks straight ahead, not at me. Dark, dead, young, lovely girl from the near those walks, and when she passes, she smiles, but she doesn't see. Oh yeah. I'll sit over here. I said, hey, I know him. <laughs> I take my picture. <laughs> Oh, how I watch her so sadly. How can I tell her I love her? Yes, I would give my heart gladly. But each day she walks to the sea, she looks through her head and not at me. Dark, dead, young, lovely girl from the beneath of the water. And when she passes, she smiles, but she just doesn't see. Oh no, she's blind to me. She just doesn't see. Oh, I wish she could look at me once in a while. Oh yeah. That old girl from Nipanema, you know, she, she's got to pay attention sometimes, don't you think? Never cared much for moving sky. Never went back to find his plan. Now it starts or in your eyes. I never went 
Yeah, let's raise your hand. 
You can find me at Red's every Thursday night, and then around town here and there, wherever anyone will let me sing. Nice, nice things. We're so glad to have you here. Welcome, everybody. How are you? Okay, 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 okay. Did we do okay for opening day? Yeah. I knew you'd say that, or I wouldn't have asked the question. We've been hearing great comments. Welcome to our 20th anniversary Sedona International Film Festival, ladies and gentlemen. And to celebrate, he's up, I think he's up in the booth. Is Jon Snow up there still, guys? He's not, oh well, pretend. Give John, John a nice round of applause. Jon Snow has been my tech director for all 20 Sedona Film Festivals, ladies and gentlemen. And as his gift to you, some of you may not notice this already today, but you will tonight. He brought us a screen that's 50% larger than any other year. So, size does matter, people. Size does matter. We want to welcome you here. Please help me thank Shane and Jeremy, our incredible tech directors here at the Sonoma Building Arts Center. We also, of course, I want to thank our incredible presenting sponsors. We have so many more of them than we've ever had any other year. Mary Fisher, Northern Arizona Healthcare, Azadi Fine Rugs, the City of Sedona, the Kling Family Foundation, Clayval, BMO Harris Bank, and Portia North Scottsdale. Nice one of for all of our presenting sponsors. And a special shout out to those of you who have seen me in here today. It's my goal at the end of the week to own that Porsche that is out in the front. So I think, you know, because Porsche is the venue sponsor here at the Sedona Performing Arts Center, so I think their gift to us should be me getting that car, don't you? Yeah. Vivian! Vivian, make that happen, woman! You can do it, Vivian, you can do it. We also want to thank Azadi Fine Rugs. Azadi Fine Rugs did an extra sponsorship this year to underwrite our VIP lounge. So Corey, Mindy, David Nishibori, we thank you very, very much. Thank you. And of course, Neil, where are you? Neil and Bonnie. Where are you at? Oh, follow me, people. I get a workout during Film Festival Week. Follow me up here. Can you stand up? I'm too lazy to climb up there. Neil Singer is the sponsor of tonight's film. Neil and Bonnie Singer. Neil has concierge medicine. If you need a wonderful doctor, he's your man. He pokes, he prods, he gets the job done, okay? He's your guy. Go talk to him. And I want to acknowledge a very special woman. Do you all love the new ticketing system? Is it not the greatest ticketing system in the entire universe? This woman right here, Donalyn Michaels, bought us our new ticketing system. She is the reason we got this system. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. And you're going to meet some of our board members. Some of our board members, Mary Fisher, Connie Levinson, and Judy Reddington, also matched it so we'd have enough funds to cover two years of operation. Give it up for them, ladies and gentlemen. For the and all right, so I want to introduce you to the board that makes this possible. We're all spread out because we've got Confessions of a Prairie Bitch happening to a full house over at the Mary Fisher Theater. We've got this show here, so some of our board members are split between places. But we want to make sure you know who they are and can say hello and thank them. So we're going to call them up. Come on up, ladies and gentlemen, our board of directors of the Sedona International Film Festival. Come on over. Give them a nice round of applause. They are truly a working board. Ladies and gentlemen, a working board. little while. As is tradition here at the Film Festival, we're going to do a ribbon cutting in a little while, but I wanted to introduce to you my board chair, my mentor, my dear friend, the namesake of her own theater here in Sedona, <laughs> and my boss, Mary Fisher, ladies and gentlemen. the 20th anniversary of the Sedona International Film Festival. So many exciting things happening this week. One of the things that's happening is happening right in the lobby. 
of spac so you'll have to come back is that we're doing we're bringing we're putting our and film and technology together and we're doing three d printing you're going to print words like this it's this small but it looks small from up here but it's not so small and they'll go on the mural that you see out there and you'll be you can watch them being printed and then you'll get one to take home with our 20th anniversary uh, logo ornament thing in a little bag. And, but the thing is, it's a fundraiser for the film festival. So I hope you all buy one. There are a thousand of them. Um, and maybe, you know, if we get a run on it, we'll make more, I don't know, but we'll see. And the two women that are here doing it are amazing. They will be in the lobby after the show, so you can ask them any questions. But we'll probably be starting, hopefully, maybe tomorrow night, but mostly on Monday. So it'll be here all week long. And I just, I want to say that we all, um, we all can't do this without you. You are our family. You are the people that make it happen. And this is an amazing opening night. And I'm so grateful to each and every one of you for, for being here and for supporting the festival because we need you. I mean, we do this. It's us. And, and look at this board. Oh. <laughs> They've got a ribbon. We're going to cut the ribbon. We're going to cut a ribbon. Remember, we had to do it with our teeth one year. That wasn't pretty. Um, but we also want to acknowledge another woman who's been here for all 20 festivals, Sheila Jackman. Dr. Sheila Jackman. Mazel tov. So, we're going to count it down, and then we're going to rip the ribbon, and then I've got a couple more announcements to make, and we'll get on with the film, all right? So you're going to help us. Oh, you have another? Well, let's tell them. Want to tell them? This is kind of exciting. We'll tell them. Me? Should I tell them? You tell them. Can I tell them? Can I tell them? All right. We have another surprise celebrity guest coming in this week. Thanks to Mary Fisher, because she's a friend of hers. Naomi Watts is coming in to the Simona Film Festival. Now, that's the good news. The bad news is you have two hours to see her. That's it. She's flying her in right directly to Sedona Thursday morning at 10 o'clock. She'll be here Thursday morning at 12.15. She's out of here. She fit us in between um, Mulan. She just got back from Mulan tonight, tomorrow. Mulan. And then she does her dress fitting for the Oscars and all these kind of things leading up to the Oscars. But she promised us she wanted to be here to celebrate our 20th anniversary with us. So she's going to come in Thursday morning. We're going to announce a special session over at the Mary Fisher Theater um, following the com filmmaker conversations. We're going to make it a ticketed items, but they're not available yet. Um, so you'll have to get tickets, but we'll probably start that on Monday. So watch for announcements. Our theater hosts will fill you in on all of that. Fair enough? Anything else you want to say? After. After. Okay, ready? We need your help, people. Come on, Mary, let's go back here. All right, give us a countdown, ladies and gentlemen. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Before you go on, um, I'd like to um, call up on the stage a former chairman of the film festival um, to, to be with us, to be with the board, because we are all special together, and every few years the board changes, and he is an emeritus board member, Jim Coletti. Thank you, Mary. Hello, everyone. Sheila. Sheila and I have some storytelling to do. Well, first of all, this is, this is clearly a night of anniversaries. Who's having an anniversary tonight? We all are. It's the 20th anniversary. But we heard about Sheila's 20th anniversary, Jon Snow as well. And of course, for some of you, this may be your first anniversary with us. And some of you filmmakers, this may be your first film or your fifth film with us. Well. Our fearless leader is also celebrating an anniversary. And tonight, Patrick Swice is celebrating his 10th anniversary with the Sedona International Film Festival. So Sheila, 
Do you remember that phone call you made to me one night? You bet I remember. <laughs> it was something like this. It was like, we got to talk to you. Can you get up here? I got in my little car and I drove on up to Sedona from Phoenix. And Sheila said, look, we got some problems. Things aren't working out here. We're two weeks away from our festival. Ten days. Ten days away from our festival. And our executive director just isn't doing his job. So that resulted on us calling the executive director into the office, taking his keys, and sending him home. With that, we saw the incredible community of Sedona come out and help us, with two other very important people, put on a film festival. And it was an incredible year. And after that year, we looked at each other and said, we are never doing this alone again. <laughs> and so we started our search for an executive director. And it was tough. These are tough. This is a tough job. Sure. <laughs> Again, I get a phone call from Sheila. She says, hey, we need to talk to you. I get in my little car and I drive up the hill. Okay. And Sheila says, we've got an interesting proposal on the table. But I can't tell you who it's about. <laughs> so apparently, some anonymous donor, who wasn't anonymous because we knew who he was, said, look, I've got the new executive director for the Sedona Film Festival. And not only do I have him, but I am willing to underwrite his first year's salary, 100%. And you guys are gonna hire him. And what did we say? And you're not gonna tell us who it is? And the answer was no. But he said it is the perfect guy for the job. He was right. Ladies and gentlemen, we made the best decision of all the many, many, many decisions we had to make that night, and we hired Patrick Soyce. So Patrick, come join us. So Patrick, on behalf of all of the amazing friends who love you in Sedona. I'm very, very happy to present you with this. This is not an award, as much as it is a recognition of all that you have done. This is a piece of art. This is a piece of art that was handmade by the actor Anthony Quinn in 1990. Okay? And so we would like you to have this with our gratitude and thanks. And we've also got a book which this piece of artwork is featured on two separate pages in this book to show just how important you are to us. So thank you. Now, we have a little, little, little favor to ask of you. We've created a little display case out in the lobby. I saw it. <laughs> you cannot keep a secret from this guy, trust me. I know you did. Beautiful, isn't it? Rip Torn is right in there with me. Right there on the picture. He was drunk. And you weren't? So what we're gonna ask of you is if we, you wouldn't mind sharing this with Sedona for the rest of the week and put this in the book on display in that display case so everyone can enjoy it and as they pass by and look at it, they can just remember how incredible you are. Thanks. Thanks. Thank, you. Thank you all. Surprises. So someone's head's gonna roll after today, but that was really beautiful. <laughs> I always tell them I love surprising people, but please don't surprise me. And this was a very beautiful surprise, and it does mean a lot to me, very, very much. Thank you. And thank you, Jim. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Thank you. It does mean a lot. It's been quite a ride for 10 years, hasn't it, folks? And there's a whole lot more where that came from. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're gonna celebrate a little bit 
we've got a 20th anniversary cake that we're gonna have you sing happy birthday to us. We're a little selfish. So when it comes to the name, just fill in Sedona Film Festival, okay? You can leave out the international. All right, all right? So happy birthday, Sedona Film Festival. Got it? No, I, anniversary, can we say anniversary? Oh. Birth, anniversary, tomato, tomato. My Jewish mother corrects me all the time. All right, ready, ready? Happy anniversary. tonight we have parting gifts. There are cupcakes for you in honor of our celebration and Barking Frog has given us their wonderful boxes of cookies that they do every single opening night. So Barking Frog Grill and if you look inside there there's a, a percentage off. 20% off? 20% off for lunch and dinner when you eat here during the film festival and I think the late blow them up. Don't burn the place down! Be careful people! So you'll get treats as you walk out alright? And everybody that has a VIP on their pass, remember the party tonight is at Soundbites Grill, um, up at Soundbites. So if you've got a VIP pass on 9 o'clock, I know it's past it on his bedtime, people. I do. <laughs> but we're going to show the cops that there are people on the road after 9 o'clock this week, okay? So thank you. Thank you to the best board. Give it up one more time, the best board in all of Sedona. Acknowledge there's a group of people right under there, my family. When the going gets tough, you fly in family from Minnesota. And they came in to do all the decorating as they've done the last few years. So the Mary Fisher courtyard that's all dialed up and it's beautiful. The VIP lounge outside here in the lobby. My incredible family has come in from Minnesota. Thank you all. I love you, I love you, I love you. And truly, this does mean a lot to me. Thank you, all of you, for all of this. And um, enough about me. <laughs> it's always about me, and that's really okay. But for tonight, we'll stop. We're going to puke otherwise. Um, so that's the, good... <laughs> that's the good news of the night. I do have a little bad news to share with you, and I know we don't normally do it in this order. Um, I know you're all here to see Shirley Knight. She is ill and at La Berge tonight. Um, she has, she's on blood thinner. And last night, she spent the entire night in Sedona's emergency room. Being taken very good care of, she developed a, a nosebleed at LaBerge last night just as she was sitting there and relaxing. They couldn't get it to stop for over an hour, so she spent a few hours in the emergency room, and they had to pack her nose and clamp her. It's been done before. They asked that the clamp doesn't be taken off until tomorrow morning. Surely, the prof consummate professional that she is, and she really is, she said, you guys have taken such good care of me, I'm gonna come to that Q&A, Come hell or high water, I will be there. And what we were going to do is just dim the lights and ask you not to take photographs because we didn't want a picture of her with her pack on to end up on the internet. Because I said, our Sedona audiences are classy enough to respect that. And she was going to come, but just 40 minutes ago I got a text saying she's just too beat up and has to stay. Now she's with us until Wednesday. So um, she'll be at her other screening, God willing that um, she'll be a little healed up by then. She will see as many of you, she'll stop and take a picture with you, she'll sign autographs, she'll talk about the film, anything you want. She's a class act, and she does not want to be sitting over at LaBerge right now. Um, sadly, she just is too beat up to do it. Um, we will still have a Q&A after this film. The producer, of, excuse me, the distributor of the film, Jerry Ray Mansfield, is here and she's been with Shirley on a lot of these Q&As, so she can actually talk about the film just as well as Shirley can. And she sends her regrets, I'm so sorry. These are things that happen, unfortunately, when you're in this business, and, um, and Shirley really sends her, sends her best and her apologies. We are hoping she's well enough to be at her next screening. And of course, like I said, she's gonna make herself available all around the festival, so do look her up, okay? All right, we'll send her some healing wishes. And we know you're gonna love this film. James Twyman uh, produced it, and he's got, you know, what we love about, what we love about this film is, you know, there are some kind of spiritual aspects to the film, so it made it kind of a nice Sedona film. Yeah. Shirley is extraordinary, and Tom Skerritt is wonderful. It's a great cast, a really wonderful story. I think you're going to fall in love with this film. Thank you for understanding and celebrating, and enjoy Redwood Highway. Yeah. 